You ever wonder if I were here? It's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Hello and welcome to another episode of the Face Podcast. My name is Jeff Ramsey. With me, as always, Britain's own Gavin Free and uh, the pride of Canada, Andrew Panton. This is episode 149. Behind the scenes, we have Eric and Nick doing whatever it is they do. How's everybody doing today? Good, thanks. I'm doing, I'm doing good. You seem very high energy today, Jeff. You seem like uh, I'm, in, a I'm, just, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. I just remembered I have something I want to talk about about British people. British people. Yeah? Let me put that in my notes real fast. <laughs> people. Okay. Is it, is it pie related? No, 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 no. It's uh, uh, <laughs> that was totally unrelated. I just had never heard of a fisherman's pie. It was the, uh, fucking disgusting. It was like three what? different kinds of fish in a brown pie. It was. It, it was. What if? What if you just want hot fish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if you just get fish and chips? Right? <laughs> Don't you have plenty of that? Uh, yeah, I feel like that's a much more appetizing I, way. I was watching. Uh, I was watching Top Chef World All Stars last night, and the season is in London, and they were making pub food, and they. Everybody's seen like shepherd's pie. I'm, I was familiar with that one, but I was not familiar with the fisherman's pie. But I also found out from Gail Simmons uh, that uh, in England, they serve 300 million portions of fish and chips a year. 300 million. That's what she said. That's essentially like if virtually every person in the United States ate fish and chips once. <laughs> we, have like, we have like 330 million people. So you're saying that if everyone in America really got together for one day... They could output a year's worth of fish and chips. Yeah, but we could do that. Too. We could bury you guys in pretty much anything in that way, just because of sheer numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I, that feels very American, though. The it idea does. of it like does. one day ever just eating fish and chips and going, fuck yeah, American. Number one. We're number one, baby. <laughs> I've just eaten fish I, and chips. I miss that part of America. You know, I listen to a lot of very serious political uh, talk radio when I'm not. Uh, listening to <laughs> very serious reality uh, and uh, celebrity gossip uh, radio. Uh, and there's been a lot of talking about how like pride in America is at an all time low and individuality is at an all time high and people care less about the greater good. And the idea of American exceptionalism is kind of gone and nobody wants to pull together like we did in the world wars and stuff. Maybe, maybe America versus England in a fish and chips off is where we get the ball rolling. <laughs> I will I will say it's funny you bring that up because I was playing Halo last night and uh, I'm just playing and uh, <laughs> I'm just playing. Next thing I know, I'm just playing. I didn't what mean was to, my I didn't damn mean invite? Where was your damn invite? It was 1 a.m. Do you want me to invite you at 1 a.m. when I'm playing Halo Infinite? What's that? 3, want, 3 a.m. for me? It's 3 a.m. for you. Yeah, uh, you, you did good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I figured I'd do good. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I was playing. <laughs> And I'm just, you know, relaxing. Everything's fine. And then I heard people speaking and it caught me so off guard. I was shocked because you never nobody speaks in game chat yeah. anymore. Yeah. And I was all excited about it because it reminded me of like Halo 3 era. And it was this conversation that was really stupid. And I'm like, oh, this is great. I missed this. And then it immediately turned into them like saying homophobic slur and just being oh, yeah. the worst. It was the <laughs> worst people. And it was like, oh, no, yeah, this is what this is. <laughs> this is this is the other part. This is like the uh, the nostalgia has been lifted. This is what we're dealing with. And they were very excited about America. In between all the homophobia, <laughs> if they got a kill, they'd be like, fuck yeah, America. America number one. Like, they said it several times. That's they, where, they're very excited. They, they say there's over 300 million slurs online today. From, oh, yeah. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you can hop on again tonight at about 1 a.m., catch those kids, and then start talking about how much better at fish and chips America is than England? <laughs> so you can start feed, like start seeding it now, and then it'll just spread. I don't know. I don't know if I'll catch them again, but I did. It was great. It was the perfect, you're a fucking idiot, and you don't even know it, conclusion where I sabotaged one of them at the end of the game to crash their warthog, and they wanted to talk shit to me about it. And the last thing they said before the game ended is, ended was where is my push to talk button they didn't know that they could be heard the entire game and they revealed it at the very closing moment i'm like you fucking idiots 
You guys suck. You're the <laughs> worst. I wonder how many. Well, that's a, probably a uniquely American trait there. Being too fucking dipshit dumb to figure out <laughs> if you're broadcasting live. Uh, <laughs> I wonder how many people are affected by that. I, would be, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a large portion of people who don't know. I guess because there are so few people in game chat that you wouldn't realize there's nobody there to tell you that you're there. You would have no idea. I've played countless games of Halo. I've never heard anyone talk in game chat before. I've probably played like 2,000 games. So yeah, if you didn't know, there's no obvious way that would indicate that you are. Yeah. So I, I wonder how long they will go before they realize. If they ever will. There Maybe. might be a new Halo game out before they realize. What if you just started talking? Do you think more people would talk to you? Maybe everyone's just being quiet. Yeah, you think so? Like, what if I'm just going to talk to myself? What What if it's just time of day? What if everybody's being quiet because their partners and their parents <laughs> are all asleep and they're trying not to wake them up? Maybe it's like really lively right now at two in the afternoon. It could be. I guess. I don't know. Maybe we should do some research. There is no greater. I feel like the Xbox party, at least on Xbox, really killed that. I mean, there's some great. I miss some aspects of game chat cultures from like game to game. Like a GTA and Saints Row game chat is a uniquely horrible place that uh, I sometimes miss being able to pop my head into. I wish it was a click of a button to switch between party chat and game chat instead of having to open the freaking thing yeah. and then down. If there was just like a, instead of push to talk, it was push to game chat, I would love that. That would be great. Could you take your Xbox Elite controller and program one of those toggles on the back to do something like that? Oh, that's an interesting I don't know question. if you can make like macros. That'd be, that would rule, though. Know. I'd love to just hop in and out. Yeah. On PC, that's how it works. You can just hear, like, through it. You don't need to do any adjusting. It's just on console. You need the party flip. But it's always worth it. It's always so great to hear people in game chat in that game. Warzone's a great, dumb game chat game. Yeah, you're always hopping in just to... <laughs> well, I can't do it because I always laugh and give us away. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Hey, uh, do you guys have a lot to talk about today? A little bit. A little can, bit. I, can I drop a mystery quickly? Because I keep forgetting to. I watched. So I brought this up like two episodes ago. It's not an amazing mystery. It just is a weird thing that there is definitely a mystery to. Is, I this, watched, is this the doorbell? This is not the doorbell. No. It's unrelated to the doorbell. Um, Eric says we is, don't do a preview. We only did mean? it. We only did it once, <laughs> and it confused so many people. I don't know how to be more clear about what we were doing, but I did it really confuse people? <laughs> yes. Well, yes, yeah. I mean, a lot of people got it and went, "Hey, that's a really clever, funny, witty idea. Congratulations on pulling that off." And a lot of other people went, "I, uh, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand." Maybe I made it more confusing though, because you were, re I think, reading, right? And then I just naturally responded to it, but then I couldn't, because I didn't know what you were going to say, but then I couldn't remember where <laughs> I said it. And it really freaked me out when you actually said it for real. I, 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 I well, that was kind of the anyway. point, right? Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't expect it to work, at least not I, I feel perfectly. like I need to, if I, if I chime in in the preview, I need to write down the word to chime in at <laughs> I, and dude, write yeah. down what I chimed in with, because otherwise I've lost. I also, for the record, I did. I, I didn't. So I knew I was going to tell a story, right? The Sloppy Joe's police story. So I just figured I would pull what I thought would be the most like aha moment from it and write it down. And so I just wrote like two sentences and I had no idea how I was going to get to them or how I would when I got to that area, how I would lead into it and then come out of it. And when I got to those two sentences, I was looking at them at that point in the podcast that I had already said on the preview. And I still didn't say it right. Because within the flow of the conversation, it just didn't work. So I like I totally added and changed, and then I was like, I'm really fucking this up myself. So I wasn't even close to repeating it exactly the way I did. Well, I feel like it was a win. Maybe we should just one and done. Yeah, maybe we leave it at that. Well, well, well weren't we always one and done this? I didn't. Yeah, that's we what I didn't understand. We well, had no, discussed. We were going to have each of us do one. I think we had discussed maybe oh. letting each person try it their own different way. Oh, that seems way too much. But yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> not everything needs to be done. Not everybody needs to do everything once. Did we fuck that? Did it? That should have played before the intro of the show did. Did we do that? Yeah. Because most. Of, or did, okay, we did. We didn't have the intro of the show start, then that clip, then the episode. Ah, who cares? <laughs> well, I, I, who cares? I feel like I that's know. a huge. You're just you're like you're, we're living in the past here. 
<laughs> I'm just saying it might be on our end. If we just did the show music, then did the show that yeah, way. Yeah, we definitely, that is not we definitely we, did that. Yeah. <laughs> then, that's exactly how it came out. We just fucked up. That's how we fucked up. I'm pretty I'll sure that's how that it came one. out. Yeah. What's your mystery? Um, my mystery is I've been I've been catching I've been watching things. I have a huge regret in my life when I was younger. I did the really dumb boy thing of like, oh, that's a that's a girl thing. I'm not interested in that, even though it's awesome. Like I did not appreciate boy bands nearly as much as I should have when I was growing up. And it's a huge regret. Oh. If I could go back in time, correct one thing, boy bands. Pay attention to boy. You're in a great boy band era. Embrace it. Enjoy Ooh. it. I didn't do that. So I've been catching up on like <laughs> things I missed that were kind of on like the bubble on my age range. And one of them is the high school musical series. Never watching any of those. I've recently finished all three movies. I was watching it. And whenever I watch a movie, whenever there's anything that like kind of grounds it in a weird alternate way, I need to pursue it. So like a website or business or something. So I was watching high school musical three and there is this blatant, really weird Remax advertising shot. Like clearly they sponsored it. Pat Gavindale, Gavindale, <laughs> they're selling a house. They're doing that. They're, they're, they're doing their thing. So I looked into it and I couldn't find anything on it. But then just randomly, I was watching a different movie. I was watching Be Cool, which came out like five years earlier. And there's a scene where a person pulls in. Pat Gavindale. Whoa. There's Pat. We might be Wait, what? in a Pat Gavindale cinematic universe. These are two completely different movies made by two different companies. But the That's same different, realtor, different sign as well. It's like it's got a tilt to the balloon. Yeah, yeah. It, there is a tilt. There's a slight adjustment. We've gone through eras. I just think this is weird. I can't figure out anything on this. Like why they chose this name. Is that I where then, we got our new logo from? Look at that shit in the top right. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> there, there's the R right there. Uh, I think we need to engage the audience. We need to scour all media and see how many times Pat Gavendale appears. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to know if there were any other Pat Gavendale appearances because I, I looked online and I found a website that had one. There's a Remax sign and a Long Came Polly, but it's just top producer. Where's Pat Gavendale? Is Pat Gavendale the top producer? I'm very confused by this. Wow. Or they just like changed the thing. There's a whole Wait, thing. How, so, how, did you you know. find, how are you finding this one? So I just Googled, I found a website that tracks product placement in, in like media and they do like a back catalog of just screenshots and stuff. And they had one for a long game poly. So I found that one that way. I then I looked, I found a the Remax did like a contest for who is Pat Gavindale. And one of the people replied that they're the realtor that sold the house in Bachelor Party, the Tom Hanks movie. So <laughs> I wanted to try to talk about this last week. And we ran out of time. So I watched Bachelor Party on like last the night before we recorded last week to prepare. Pat Gavindale's not in that fucking movie. <laughs> I wasted I wasted my time watching Bachelor Party for a reference that never happened and then never talked about it the following day. I had no reason to watch that one I did. But I was like, I got to get this in. Never came up. Let me ask you a question. Was that your first time seeing Bachelor Party? It was. Yeah. Uh, first I, and only. So I, I was a big fan of that movie when I was a kid, like maybe I nine see years that. old. <laughs> yeah, and I and when you brought that. it up, I went like, oh, fuck, Bachelor Party. That's a classic. I bet. Yeah. Tom Hanks is one of his early. And, uh, but now it, it instantly struck me. I bet that movie didn't age well. No, it did not. How badly did it age? It aged really poor. I just don't think it's very funny in a general sense. And yeah, it did not age well. Definitely did not age well. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's not great. I wouldn't revisit it if I were you. I would kind of, you know, sort of like me and the game lobbies in, in Halo. Just remember the good parts fondly and do not revisit it and see some of the stuff that still is but part of that. Isn't it interesting that when ones. you watch something that hasn't aged well? I feel like I don't avoid it. It's always quite intriguing, like what was acceptable sometimes not that long ago. It's like watching a historical record and it's almost always surprising. I don't avoid stuff either. Yeah, it's not about avoiding it. I'm just saying if you have fond memories of it, why tarnish that? Mm. I don't think you're getting anything out of rewatching Bachelor Party. So if you have a fondness of that memory, just leave it as is. Don't revisit it. <laughs> you don't need to remember that they crashed a bus into a movie theater in the final act for a 3D game. Like, that doesn't... You're fine. You're good. Just move on. 
But you've been doing a lot of movie reviews, so I figured you'd also you'd be a great detective on this case, Jeff. If you if you happen to see a film, I'd say between the years two thousand four and twenty ten. That features a Pat Gavendale sign. Let me know. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Andrew, I wish you would have brought this to my attention two weeks ago. I did my last movie review last episode. <laughs> <laughs> or two episodes ago. I think well, I, I, watch, loved I, haven't, I haven't watched a movie since. But oh, I, no. I, 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 well, yeah, what's the point of watching movies if I'm not going to do reviews of them? <laughs> uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I will, though. I will, though. I'm not interested. And to your point about going back and watching Bachelor Party, I've decided I don't want to spend much of my current life watching sh like revisiting shit that I enjoyed in the past anyway because like I'm I'm discovering through this period of time in music where I'm discovering all these bands that were really good when I was really into music but I just missed them for whatever reason that there's so mm -hmm. much stuff out there that I just 2022 seen you mean yet 2022 is when I started to realize all the music from like 98 <laughs> to like 2010 I missed uh, when I was really into music and going to shows like four days yeah. a week and going constantly. Year of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, a great year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I get, I get, where, I get, I get your point. Uh, anyway, um, and so I'm, I'm making a concerted effort to like, to be okay with looking backward. Uh, I guess Condor Man would be an exception because I had already seen that, but that's for content. I'm okay with looking backward and watching old stuff, but only old stuff I'd never seen before. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. And I've been really enjoying it. I mean, that's kind of why I watched that. Uh, well, that's uh, that's kind of why I watched that old Polish movie. I've been up until I quit doing reviews. I've been watching a lot of movies on Criterion Collection that I had meant to see and never got around to it. It's been a lot of fun. That's great. I uh, I've got a movie thing. I talked to Andrew about this. Um, okay, I'm gonna put this in Slack. Have you seen the Born Identity? Yes. Okay. There's this scene. Uh, every, everyone should watch that. It's this a 20 second clip. It's a nice, really long shot. It's like an introductory shot. He's just, he's just about to crack on being born and uh, walking down the street. Doesn't this have Run Lola Run in it? Yes. Bam! See that? Nice little touch. See that, what? Jeff? No. He vanished. I didn't see it. <laughs> he vanished. Oh! I... Now, I thought watching that, oh, that's a nice touch. You know, he's like a ghost. Oh, shit! He's like a little ghost. Uh, he can vanish on demand. And I thought, I wonder how they did that. Did they do like, did they hide a wipe behind that man? And then I look closer. He just ducks and runs behind the little truck that goes behind him. Have, a, right. have a little zoom in on that. You can actually see him running behind it. All right, I'm looking now. <laughs> Fucking. Look at that dirty jacket. <laughs> I'm going to watch for feet. No, don't watch for feet. I feel like it's the hardest. Just look at the, the, the cart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. So then I thought, <laughs> then I thought, well, I bet that's, you know, that's just how they did that effect. But then I thought, what if that is canon? What if that isn't Matt right, Damon yeah. hiding? What if Jason Bourne, as the character, decided <laughs> to do that? And then I was in just a, a weird thought loop of like, who's doing that? <laughs> the, a, the actor or the character? Because I love the idea of Jason Bourne. <laughs> well, I, I think it has to be in character, right? And I've yeah. been thinking about this. You brought this up like weeks ago. Yeah. And I, I continuously think about it. I think this is almost like a dark display of how paranoid Jason Bourne is as a person. That he feels he needs to live his life this way. He's thinking that he's just walking down a street and that there might be somebody who's trying to tail him and he just randomly hops behind a cart. But, he, no reason. but he must assume that the person tailing him is exactly where the camera is. Because to everyone else, <laughs> he must look like a complete that's, freak. That's how heightened his senses are. He can even sense the camera. Yeah. If you, if you think about it, it really is like a... a, a it's kind of a, a dark revelation on what hell it must be like to be a high value government assassin. <laughs> it's like he's got to live his life that way constantly. He probably watching Jason Bourne on a Wednesday go to the grocery store and come home. He probably has to take three buses, two taxis, <laughs> four cars. He probably has two decoy bags of groceries. Like it's got to be a nightmare to live that way. Do you think it would be a nightmare to be Jason Bourne's friend? You know, like when you guys all went to the grocery store to buy your smallest item, just how frustrating it would be if the, yeah. one of you just kept disappearing. Oh, you'd be talking to him in the, in, the, in the living room, and then suddenly he's the lamp, and you're just looking around. Yeah. You know where he is. <laughs> he's doing ninja rolls down the aisles. And shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it would also suck to be Jason Bourne's friends because you're the first person they're going to kill. Yeah, they oh, come for the friends and family. 
You're going to be tied up. You're tied up in a fucking warehouse somewhere in Eastern Europe. And they're like electrocuting your balls and sending him a video. And he gets there. But not in. Maybe he saves your life. But you still got your balls electrocuted for like 16 hours while he was flying in. I don't think any of that happened across any of the five films. There's oh, five the, of those, the, right? The Jason Bourne universe is much larger than those five films. That's true. I've, books, I've read. I yeah, see. I've read some of the books. I've only seen three films. There's well, they did the original trilogy. Yeah. That's, I think that's then what I said. There's see. the Jeremy Renner one, yeah. and then they brought Matt Damon back for another one, but I didn't see that one. Oh. Yeah, they did the they did that Mission Impossible style thing where they're like, you know what, we're gonna turn Mission Impossible over to Jeremy Renner, except they did it for one movie and said, you know what, we're gonna give it back to Matt Damon. <laughs> and they did the confusing <laughs> thing Nick just put in the chat, Jason Bourne. That's what they called the last entry of the film is just Jason Bourne. So the last one is Jason Bourne, and then the Bourne identity. It's terrible. It's a terrible yeah. naming convention. Huh. i got to see that one. Fair is that any good? I don't think so. Oh. I don't think it was critically liked. I think it kind of flopped. The, ori the original trilogy, I feel like I enjoy him more every time I see him. I, yeah. I feel like I didn't like him as much as a kid. Really? I really, I remember watching Born Identity in theaters and loving it. Didn't really care for the second one, liked the third one quite a bit. Third one's great. I guess I can't go back and watch them, or that would be betraying that whole fucking spiel I had earlier. But I remember really enjoying the first. I never saw four and five, but the first. Three I, I want to watch them again and just look out for Jason Bourne hiding behind shit and appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> well, there aren't many of those scenes, right? Like that's maybe the only moment in the series where he tries to out sneak you, the audience member. Yeah. I love that that's there and that you can see that and you can draw that hilarious conclusion yourself because it really is ridiculous every time you see a movie and somebody stands behind a bus and the bus goes by and then they're gone in a puff of smoke <laughs> like they're fucking back. And you never see them just running. With a grappling hook. Yeah, you never, yeah. Or when you do see them running, it's a, it's a huge comedic moment, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That's a you, great point. You never see it from their perspective. Yeah. It's always from the person who's like, oh my God, where do they go? You never, we've never seen a character do that. Until now. Yeah. Yeah, we need more of that. And I feel like nowadays they would just CG that out, fix it, or do some sort of visual effect. I'm glad they left that in. I'm glad it was all done optically. Yeah. Because what really happens, right, is like the bus goes by and you just start fucking booking it, running with the bus till you see like an alley you can turn into. <laughs> and then you got to stand in an alley and catch your breath for 15 minutes wheezing. Going, <gasps> uh, uh, uh. And meanwhile, the guy on the other side of the bus is like, the motherfucker vanished. <laughs> do you think you could naturally do that? I think yeah. I'd be terrible at that. I could do it. I don't I think, think I'd be good at that at all. I think I'd be bad for timing of the vehicle. I'd do this shit. Out I don't there. think I could do that in real life. <laughs> Gav, you could do it too, do think right? I give it a damn good I'd, go. We should yeah. try it. We should. Oh, 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 that's the next face video, live video we do. Like, put the six foot hole on hold and put throwing fruit on hold. Let's fucking try to escape each other and film it in public. We'll just put one camera on one side of the street yeah. and the other person stands on the other side on the street with buses. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see that actually from the perspective of the people on the bus. Like, I think that would be the best time. We ever. put Nick on the bus with a camera. <laughs> do you do you think someone could do that with sloppy joes? Like you're watching and then like they hide behind oh. a car as it drives like oh. it would happen like very yeah. suddenly. Don't get run over though. No, Guys. please don't get run over, please. Guys, I'm glad you brought it up, Eric. Uh, yeah. We got a we got a fucking sloppy Joe's conundrum. What? Oh. What do you mean? Hang on, hey, wait, wait, wait. What Before you get into a conundrum, we have we're supposed to get together tomorrow and do a sloppy Joe's bingo. Yeah, that's why I want to talk to you guys about that. Uh, I would love to get together and do sloppy Joe's bingo tomorrow night. Ooh, I hope we can. sounds like we're not doing it. However, <laughs> uh -oh. uh, after our episode came out yesterday and it hit the public, uh, sloppy Joe's webcam went down and it is still down. <gasps> no, you yeah, broke the webcam. Down. It's been down since four. It's been down since four no. thirteen p.m. yesterday. No, oh, we're approaching no. twenty four hours. So I don't know that there will be a camera for us to watch. If you go to it, it's just black, just like the last time. And the inside camera, if you go to that one, it just says this camera has been this feed has been removed for breaking terms of service. Oh, Maybe it's because they're playing live music. Uh, cover oh, bands or something. No I don't way. know. But the outside camera is, is cut just like it was last time. And the uh -huh. other camera... So I, I didn't get into this with you guys, but I found another bar called Rick's Entertainment <laughs> Center. Well, well no. Oh, come that, on, get we real. Can't, we can't. Hold what are on. you talking I found another, about? I found another I mean, bar named no. Rick's that has another live cam. It's not as good, 
because there's no audio. Boo. But the rig, I, no. I I figured out and triangulated it and realized that when you're looking at the Sloppy Joe's cam across the street where the puke trash can is. <laughs> Uh, and where sometimes Rocky stands to take photos with people, there is a building with a, it says it's a black awning, and under it there's a picture that says Shades, right? On the Rick's cam, there's a suspicious-looking black awning at the far right of his cam, uh, and I matched it, and we, 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 held, we put, brought up two cameras at once to watch cars go back and forth. It is literally immediately to the left. It's the same awning. So the Rick's cam catches the left side of uh, Sloppy Joe's that we don't see, albeit with no audio and from a top-down perspective, so it's fucking useless. But the cameras <laughs> are located... The cameras are both located in the same on the same building. That camera is located you above the other useless. one on Sloppy Joe's. Yeah, yeah I'm saying it's not fun to watch, uh, well, but that camera's... I'm trying to get the, the, point to the get, idea. I don't understand, that camera, Jeff, What are you talking about? <laughs> that camera is down, too. What? Uh, Hang on. Why, are you why, why do we do this? What are you talking about? What the fuck? So are I'm you saying talking? it's a Have large you ever conspiracy. A coin why? Every day. Get real. <laughs> I'm just oh telling God. you guys that I found a second camera that's located immediately to the left of Sloppy Joe's that's also down. That's all I'm saying. Okay, well, that's. You pitched that in a way of as an alternative. That's no, no, there's design. no alternative. I'm like, there's no that alternative. The I'm like mad at you, I think. Like, I never said there was an alternative. Well, I'm saying through my research, I discovered another <laughs> camera that's not as way, good. The way... I never okay, insinuated wait, I had a workaround. Wait, hang on, hang on. It was implied. Gavin, did you feel like Jeff was uh, giving an alternative? I feel like it was laid up that way, but I wasn't. I feel like I wasn't as disappointed as you guys. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just, I'm just. Down. I'm just checking. I figured. I, you know, you were neutral. I wanted to see how you felt. I'm glad you agree. I, I, you may have read some of my enthusiasm at being able to fill out the Sloppy Joe's world a little bit more, because now, like, now, like the when SJU? there's police, now, like when you see police sirens off to the left and you don't know what it is, you can go to that other camera and you can't hear it, but you can at least. But get hang on, a, get the a other camera view. that's also down. <laughs> Well, when they're up, when they're up, <laughs> God damn, Gavin, is it me or are they being obtuse to be up to? I'm just saying I you're presenting this like this is something that. we can do, and it's we can't. I didn't say anything. Don't love me in with that. I'm just, sorry that my... for the last 18 hours it's been down, but for the previous five months it was an accept accessible okay. thing that we've all been talking about and okay. watching it. I assume it'll go up again in the fucking future. Okay. God a damn. Okay, apology accepted. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was laughing to myself. I meant Jeff has just created a world in which he is Gene Hackman and enemy of the state through YouTube. I'm fucking trying like, to. All the cameras are down. All the kid we got, we were down. What's on this street? Like you just, you're, you're mapping out the whole street. I'll tell it's you this. Great. If Andrew and Eric are going to be snippy little bitches about it, I'm not going to share my <laughs> fucking knowledge anymore. Gene Hackman's going to keep all of his snippy. data to himself. <laughs> Nobody's what? being I don't think snippy. I was snippy. Gavin, I was Gavin, confused. Gavin doesn't want to get embroiled in this fight, but he is on my side, I guarantee you. Uh, I think I am, and I, I usually I usually end up on the opposite side to you, Jeff, just because I feel like, well, that's, the, that's content. That's most it's of our lives. It's the funniest that's way we, to do That's it, what yeah. we do, but I really agree with you on this. Thank you, buddy. Um, what if we just get someone to stand there and live stream it? <laughs> <In their phone>. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. <laughs> Anyway, I'll keep you guys posted. I didn't. I didn't want to give you this information before the podcast because I wanted to hear your, uh, you know, the full reaction in the moment. But uh, if it doesn't come back up, then obviously we can't do tomorrow night. I can't believe. Do you think you did that? Oh, I think it's it's got to be in relation to the the traffic they got. I think. But well, we we already <laughs> saw people strolling into the frame and shouting out <laughs> face, which was awesome. And we saw people shouting out <laughs> face and then talking to the bouncers about it, which I'm sure didn't help. <laughs> I <laughs> I love the idea that they saw a spike in traffic and just assumed something horrible happened and have pulled all the feeds. They're like, we don't know what this, we don't know why this happened, but something happened and it probably isn't good because we're sloppy joes. <sighs> Nothing great happens outside. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeff, that you've lost your feeds. Uh, it's but a bummer. I'm glad that. It, you know, hey, this has led you to mapping out the street. Yeah, bit. I mean, I've done That's a little bit exciting. of work, so I'm just trying to fill out that world so I can see more angles and stuff. But it uh, last night was definitely a <laughs> hollow night without my sloppy Joes to watch. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Survivor was good, though. I have a question. Survivor's great. Oh, you talk Survivor? No. Nah. No, it's fine. It's just it's good. You should catch up. It's yeah, very it's good. real good. I have a question for Eric. Okay. What's going on? <laughs> About with what? <laughs> 
you just seem like you just seem like you're spiraling. I just there's just a lot happening. It's been you know how people are like, oh man, it's like a long day. Is I just have I just been like having like a long life. Mm. Pretty long life. Yeah, it's just been a long life. That's what most people want. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's here's something that I did. Like I never really considered when I was like younger. Um, I always figured I'd be dead by 35. So now I'm 36, and it, yeah. this is just sort of yeah. like, why well, now I don't know what to do. Um, and so it's just, uh, you know, I'm I'm cruising. I'm doing good. But you know, there's just a lot of stuff that comes up. There's a lot of things happening in and out of work. There's just a lot of stuff happening. Um, How can we help? Uh, you know, I, you've been doing a good job of reminding me and saying like, hey, here's this thing. What happened with this thing? That helps a lot. And You took uh, a best of f- face? Yeah, but it's it's up now. That that helped hey. a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, Y'all did a great job. That, that and, Thank you. And there was a note that was missed on an episode of something. And so that was the thing that I had to drill down on. It, there's just a lot, you know. There's a lot happening. No, I don't think you have to put the audio of it out also. Like, it's in the episode, Nick. It's up to you. But um, there's just a lot, you know, going on. Uh, there's a lot that I'm taking care of and not, you know, in and out of work. And it is what it is. But, all right. That's, hey, say lovey. It is what it is. It's such a... Would it, would it help if we, d- like, delivered casseroles to your house or something? Ooh. No, I'm not in bereavement, so... Is there a card? You know, there's like, you know, it's a boy or, you know, sorry for your loss or get well soon. Is there a... Sorry that you're alive, or like, sorry, what? Mm. <laughs> sorry you about your long going. life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry that you're off the map now. <laughs> Here's to the end. Hope it comes soon. Sort of card. <laughs> so, sorry about your life. <laughs> you succeeded. My condolences. I, I googled it. I googled it. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> that's the. That's an amazing card. Oh, that's great. It's that's really pretty good. good. I wonder if we can do our own take on that and sell a, li- a nice gift card. This is a good idea. Like, just so- sorry, because it's not even like, sorry, you're having a hard time. It's not that I'm necessarily having a hard time. It's just that, you know, every day I wake <laughs> up, it, there's, a, a, there's, a, there's, a, <laughs> there's a kids in the hall sketch that starts with Bruce McCulloch saying, every day I wake up and uh, people give me shit. And that's how my that's how I know my day's begun. And that's how that's how it feels. Truly, truly, that's how it feels. It's just like, oh, okay. man. Well, yeah. why don't we I, I can definitely give you less shit. Um, no, no, no. You guys are fine. You're but, like, but, but why don't you let us know when there's less shit on your table and we can then just go back to normal? Hopefully in the next <laughs> month, there will be less shit. But I like the idea of you noticing that uh-huh. your life is less shitty and then being like, all right, you feel free to make it shitty. All, right, no, all right, guys, I'm, I'm back. Give it to me. I, I've got some <laughs> shit bandwidth. Hit me. <laughs> it's just that thing. And I think I think it's a thing that people deal with in general. You know how you have, Gavin, like you'll suddenly have just like weak stretches where you're like, what? Like, where am I? What am I oh, supposed yeah. to be on top of? What am I missing? Like. There's stuff that you feel like you're dropping the ball on, but it's not like you're necessarily dropping the ball on anything. There's just so many things from so many different avenues. I get and- so frustrated when I have free time, like days of free time, and then mm-hmm. everything lands at the same time. So yeah. I'm like, I seem way busier than I am. And then yeah. I'm just like exhausted, everything's stacking up. And then I have more free days afterwards. And because I've been so busy, I have no idea what to do with my free days. Because yes. I feel like, oh, I should, some of it should be spread out, but it's all happened and it's, it's a very odd way of going through life, I think. Yeah. He, it, text me. He, yeah. Oh, text. Yeah, we'll text Jeff. That's, we'll go that's to lunch or something. <laughs> uh, he, yeah. The thing that I get, and the thing I always point out to my, my small wife is that it will be, <laughs> like what you're saying happens to me in increments where there will be hour spans where I have nothing and I can sit and be, and it's fantastic. But the moment I have something in my hands, like I'm doing something physically that I need to like pay attention to. I get every text message, every email and every Slack (laughs) conversation all at once. And it's like, where was this an hour ago when I had the time to deal with it? Why is it all in one four minute span? It makes me crazy. It makes me so crazy. (laughs) I hate it. 
That should when be Jeff, a feature. Here's the thing. <laughs> when, when, Jeff, when Jeff was sending all of our, like, here's all, like, these sloppy Joes things and all this stuff. It was in the middle of, like, dealing with so much other stuff. And my phone was relentlessly getting just videos of, <laughs> hey, look at this guy fall down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's not like, important. You can just mute the conversation. But that's the thing. I have to do that, but it's not just you. Because if it was just you, it would be fine. It's you and the four other group texts and the four other Slack conversations and the two emails. And it's just like, oh, what? The, like, you just kind of have to like put it down and be like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And then you have to figure it out from there. And there should be a is. feature on the telephone where unless... A message is marked as urgent. It doesn't come to you when it was sent. If you've just received mm. a text in the last <laughs> half an hour and it's not a part of that conversation, it should give it to you in half an hour. And then it, everything's like conveyor belted out to you and there's no like stacking of bullshit. It'd be cool if you could like anything marked as non-emergency, you could just say like, all right, I want all my texts to show up 15 minutes after the hour. And then you just get a, a rush of them in that 15. Then you have 45. Yeah. You have an hour before the next batch. Stall it. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like working out with like rest periods. And shit. <laughs> Doing high intensity training, but for texts. Well, high intensity Eric, texting. Eric, I sympathize with you. Uh, and I've been there. Uh, yeah. But I'm never going to stop texting you funny. No, stuff. no, no. And I'm not asking you to. If, if it was. See, here's the thing. Like with this show. It's never going to be a thing where it bothers me. It's just that this is something that is important to me and I care about. Mm. Like, so part of this, so people are listening, we were supposed to be throwing fruit and Jeff is supposed to get a baseline for the throwing stuff, but I've had so much and I've just been dealing with a lot of stuff this week that I couldn't put it together in time and I didn't want to do it half ass. I want to make sure that we do it and we're into it and everything. Um, if it ever becomes overwhelming with this show, I'll talk to you guys. But I never do because this is the thing that I want to put time and energy mm. into. It's all of the other stuff that gets stacked around it and on top of it where you go, oh, I'm in a living hell. And I, uh, I am truly in a world of my own making and I must live with it. Uh, it oh. So it is what it is. Hopefully that will be getting better for you incrementally in the future, though. I think it will. I think it will. Yeah. This ad is brought to you by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mealtime this spring by delivering pre-portioned ingredients and easy-to-prepare recipes right to your door. Skip the checkout lines and get outside in the warmer weather because HelloFresh has dinner covered. April is Earth Month, and HelloFresh is always committed to a cleaner planet. On average, HelloFresh meals have a 31% lower carbon footprint than the same meals made from the supermarket ingredients. Plus, nearly all HelloFresh packaging materials are curbside recyclable in most areas of the U.S. Good food is too precious to waste. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients cuts down on your food waste by at least 23% compared to grocery shopping, which is good for your wallet and the planet. HelloFresh is a great service. The food is always so good. It's fun getting the box, as I say in every ad, because it's true. It's delicious recipes. No matter what experience you have at cooking, I would highly recommend it. It's a real joy. I, I genuinely love getting HelloFresh. It's a great service. So go to HelloFresh.com face50 and use code face50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. That's HelloFresh.com slash Face50 and use code Face50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. Going online without ExpressVPN is like using your smartphone without a protective case. Most of the time, you'll probably be fine, but all it takes is one accidental drop onto a solid concrete, onto a solid concrete, I mean just solid concrete in general, I don't know why I've specified a singular piece of concrete, your phone can break for all sorts of reasons on all sorts of surfaces, but all it takes is one time to make you wish you had protected yourself. Every time you connect to an unencrypted network in cafes, hotels, airports, etc., your online data is not secured. Any hacker on the same network can gain access to and steal your personal data, passwords, financial details, etc. And it doesn't take much technical knowledge to know how to hack someone. Just some cheap hardware is needed. A smart 12-year-old could do it. Your data is valuable. Hackers can make up to $1,000 per person selling your personal info on the dark web. Why should you use ExpressVPN? Because they have an encrypted tunnel. 
It creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. Hackers can't steal your sensitive data. It's super secure. It'd take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get past ExpressVPN encryption. It's easy to use. Fire up the app and click one button to get protected. And it works on all devices. Phones, laptops, tablets, and more, so you can stay secure on the go. I also really like using ExpressVPN to access other content libraries. Uh, in the past, I, I watched The Spelling Bee every year, and it was only available in America, but using ExpressVPN, I was able to watch it. It was a lifesaver. It's a good service. I'd highly recommend it. So secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash face. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash face. And you can get an extra three months free. ExpressVPN.com slash face. I am in a living hell and I'm in a world of my own making is exactly what I thought when I fell on my sushi container. So I can relate to that. that <laughs> See, deeply, yeah, that me and you, very... Andrew, we're like the same guy. Yeah, exact same. I had a great fall recently. Oh, I had no. a real embarrassing fall. It was not good. In public? Oh, in uh, yeah, not intending to be in public, but in public in the worst way. I was hungry and it was late at night. And so I, I ordered a little delivery and I like to I'll, I'll wait outside the door because I don't want to interact with the person, avoid all social contact as much as possible. I wait until they leave. And then almost like a cartoon, if they place the bag next to the door, I will crack the door, put my hand out, grab the food, then close the door very quick. <laughs> it's a very smooth move. But this is later at night, and so I was like, ah, I don't want to just leave it out there. I want to get it as quickly as possible. They're in their car. They probably won't notice me. I was a little too far away from the bag, and I, I overextended. I overreached, <laughs> and I lost my balance, and I fell through the door. Like, I knocked the door open and fell through onto the front, front pavement area, and they saw this. <gasps> so your door opens outwards? It opens outwards. And so I crack it, I bend to grab the thing, I'm reaching for it, realize it's too far, lose my balance, <laughs> do that little thing, you know, where like you try to recover by taking steps forward, yeah. and by doing so, I bang open the door, which is cracked open, and then I just fall. So this person is just about to get in their car, and then they see a door swing open and me <laughs> barreling out of it and falling. <laughs> so you're like crouched, crouch falling. I'm you look like Jason falling. Bourne behind the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing in this? Uh, just uh, like a shirt and underwear. Yeah, so I, just, I, I, knew I knew it. I knew you were in underwear. I knew you were in underwear. Like, it was. It was. <laughs> I, I feel like they, my mental image of you now is permanently like a stumbling <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Same Winnie the Pooh with a glue on mustache is what I see. <laughs> I was just saying, yeah, are you okay? And I was so embarrassed. I'm, oh. like, I'm fine. Thanks. Have a great night. Bye. <laughs> I, just, I ate shit. I ate shit at such a low level. As you said, I was crouched. It was like such a low fall. Was the food okay? Food was great. Okay. That's about as public as you seem to get, I feel like. Like three, <laughs> three, falling <laughs> three feet porch. outside your front porch. <laughs> um, that, that reminds me of a decide. Did you guys see the new f face game? Yeah. That somebody in her community no. made? That made me so happy. I'll, I'll post it. I'll post a link to it. Somebody is it better than guess who might be dead? I it's you, you, you never you don't measure your children. Yeah, <laughs> they're great games in their own way. Wait, Red user cog employee number two. Why don't you measure your made children? this? Well, you, you know, like how, how are you going to know how tall internally? They are? I mean, you literally measure them. I mean, I was excited about being measured, but not you don't say which one you like more. What's better? This is not what right. You, you don't do. rank. You don't game. rank your children. Although yeah, I think that, that would have been a better word. I've only got one kid, but I'm pretty sure all parents do that. Oh, definitely. But you keep it <laughs> internal. My point is, you don't you don't vocalize and some. No, things. some families they make it very obvious, like Gavin. That's hey. I You're didn't want to bring it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about how they clearly <laughs> like your brother and your sister more than you. <laughs> this person made Andrew Pants Pro Shitter. It's a Windows game. It's great. I haven't been able how to does play it, work? it yet. It's, you know, when I described, I like, trying to balance on the toilet seat that's broken. Oh, like a Tony Hawk to, grind? Yeah, like a Tony Hawk grind. It's me on a toilet seat that's sliding around, and you need to keep them balanced. And the longer they're on the toilet, the more shits they do, I think, is the scoring system. <laughs> and if they fall off, the game ends. But it's really dumb, and it's really great. Wow. Hey, that reminds me of two quick, very uh, pertinent things uh, to, to what we're talking about right now. The first one is... 
Uh, Major League fan Jack recently, I, I saw him, and he told me that he that we should make some sort of a toilet tray that you can eat and put your iPad on while you're sitting on it so that you don't have to worry about spilling your cupcakes. And then maybe it like transforms and works in the in the bathtub too, which I thought was a pretty good idea. A toilet food tray so you can eat dinner in peace while you're shitting. Okay. Uh, <laughs> something maybe you should look into. Like, I don't know the dyna- okay. I don't know the you know, I don't know how the layout of your toilet really, so it'd be hard for me to build. But that, uh, but he just puts he uses the toilet while he's in the bathroom. You're not like eating on the shitter, are you? No. Yeah, but you could do that. You could also set it on That's top gross. of the toilet so that it's like a secure, it's probably got rails around it, uh, like a lip, so nothing falls, you know? It's like just like a, a more secure place. You just pick it up, bring your food in, just set it right down <laughs> on top of the toilet. If you got to take a dump, you pick it up, set it on your lap. It's uh, that way you're not putting your food directly on your toilet lid like he does sometimes. What if you uh, had to live a week with a one in, one out rule? Like you had to take all of your bites on the toilet as oh. poo is coming out. Oh. That's terrible. That's the worst game. This is the worst game you, that has been suggested. And then you'll on the you'll show. remain the same weight constantly throughout the week. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's how that works. No, no, I don't think so. Why I not? think there might be some issues. I just, listen. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I don't think that's how that works. So if you're done shitting, do you have to stop eating? Like the second the last poop comes out, no, you gotta quit. This is terrible. I think so. Yeah. I don't think you could eat enough, and and you can only drink while you piss. I think you, it's like a, I think it spirals down, right? Because I like that one. You can only drink while you piss. Uh, but with the food one, I don't because you're shitting for like what a minute, minute and a half. You can only get so much food in your mouth. Then you got to stop. You're, you're taking less in, and then you're shitting less out, which then reduces the amount of time that you can take more food in. You'll be dead in a week. Oh, you think you would die from that? I don't think you could eat. I don't. The less you eat, the less you shit, and the less you shit, the less you can eat. I mean, that's just math, right there. I think one of us should try it. Not, not it. <laughs> not it. What do you, no, it's oh. your. I'm, oh, <laughs> Andrew. All right. No, I, I'm the only one that's been vocally against this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, we're not six. I'm not. You're not gonna like double dog dare me, and then I gotta do it. Like this is that's not how this works. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Gavin, you seem excited about. It. Gavin, have you given Jeff your toilet paper roll? Oh, we need something. To do I was that. thinking about. Oh, not yet. I've got it ready though. Okay. I, I also I, need. I also. I'm waiting for Jeff to give me whatever it is. That I oh yeah, to send I'll bring to it because I want to send your sticks. The next time I see you, I'll give you my thing, and then we'll work it out. Um, should, we, should we do a dead drop? Like you have to dig up a bog roll, and then you bury what you want me to send to Andrew. We could, we could definitely do that. <laughs> we could definitely do that. We could definitely do that. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention because I said it, it reminded me of two things. Uh, this is one of my notes. Andrew, could we get an update on the doorbell mystery? I don't have a doorbell anymore. Like it's before, it was just the button is gone. Now everything is gone. <laughs> But I have reported it to the building, so it is possible they took it. So either somebody came back and stole more of my doorbell, <laughs> or the person that runs the building has taken it to replace it. Uh, I think it's probably the former, not the latter. Yeah? I mean, I hope it's the building. Although it would be funnier if somebody else just came to take more of the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> Should you put up a decoy doorbell and see if they take it? <laughs> I should booby trap it, right? Yeah, you should. It should electrocute yeah. somebody. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they push the doorbell and a little blow dart comes out and it shoots them in the side of the neck with a blow dart that makes them fall asleep. And then you can catch them in the act. They'll be snoozing on your front porch. I'm, I recently suggested something to you, Jeff, that you didn't seem to respond to. I'm disappointed by. Oh, it's relating. I'm to sorry. Don't what was that? that? No, I don't want, you know, I don't want to say it, but I, I think I came up with a thing that would be a funny thing against Gavin and, uh, a funny didn't really against, go anywhere. Unfortunately. A funny thing against Gavin. Yeah. I don't I'll like this. It might still happen, so. <laughs> I might have been in the middle of something. You'll have to that, remind yeah. me. Yeah, I'll, uh. I, I, I could have been off I'll, my game or something. I'll send you, refer- you know what, I'll text you right now. It's a very short thing. Okay. Uh, and then, and then you could react to it. While you're doing that, I, uh, I want to post something in the chat. I have a little mystery okay. of my own I discovered yesterday. Uh, not that I was looking for a mystery, but it found me, and I was going to see what you guys think about this. I, uh, I was sitting in my backyard, um, doing what I do for fun now, which is, uh, listening to birds. I have a bird ID app on my phone, and I try to see how many different birds show up in Are my Are you yard. really running with the most boring, at <laughs> least, it, yeah. least interesting yeah. person? It's called the Merlin, Merlin Bird ID, and then it sends all of the bird sounds that it captures to Cornell University so they can track bird migration. 
I'm uh, I'm Have getting you considered real... just farting into it? <laughs> <laughs> while, while I was sitting in my backyard uh, yesterday, right next to me was this. Well, of course it's too large. It's A, it's one, it's Eric, one fucking Eric, are you shitting photo. me? Eric, right, you have too much on it. Please don't give me shit. Thank you. <laughs> don't give him shit. Don't give him shit. You said you'd be nice to him. Eric, let me know when you're back because I, I cannot wait to kick off about this again. Okay. Well, okay. I'm going to put you. it in Slack. I'm going to put it in Slack. Let's, Eric, you're, you're off the hook. Uh, God damn. Here's the deal. I have a, a decent sized backyard and I have a big fence around it that is impermeable. You guys have seen it. Nothing's getting, there's no animals getting in or out that fence, right? Uh, I also have two dead dogs. They've both been dead. A, 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 <laughs> one's been dead a little over a what? year. The other one's been dead about eight months. So imagine my surprise when I sat down to l- record my bird sounds yesterday, and I see this giant log of shit right in the middle of my backyard. I see you guys a picture. And here, I thought, oh, that's probably not going to do good. They can't really so I took a photo of it again. Here it is next to my shoe for scale. It's a full-on... I'm on fucking post. All right, there you go. It's a full on <laughs> log. Like I've had a cat. It's way bigger than a cat turd. And also, cats don't just shit in the middle of the yard. They they're more demure than that. It's bigger than like rabbit pellets. It's the about the size of Henry's turds. So Dude. I want to know. Here's my mystery. How did an animal <laughs> with an asshole that big get in my backyard, which is locked down like <laughs> Fort Knox? Take a big dump in the middle of the yard, and then where did they go? Do you think it was an animal, or could it could have possibly been? Remember when you waved that guy back who was leaving for your power? Could it have been him? Could he have been waiting? No, it's that's the an thing. I cut the grass. I cut the grass five days ago, so it's been within the last week. Nobody's been in my backyard but me and Emily in the last week, and I'm and I don't think it's her. I I know I used to joke that she's shit in the backyard. It's like a raccoon or a coyote or something, isn't it? It's I don't think it's I think it's too big for a raccoon. We How big have is a, a possum's anus? We do have a possum, but my possum is about the size of a big cat, and I've never seen a cat come really close to that. Like, I'm telling you, that is, that is 50 pound dog shit right there. That is Henry the Bulldog shit. And I, mm. Emily smushed it around a little bit. It's full of berries. <laughs> so it's clearly a wild oh, animal of some kind. She smushed it oh. around. Oh. I like oh. where we're at, by the way, with, our, with all the brands here at Rooster Teeth. You got all these like, amazing expensive rebrands like you know all good no worries it looks amazing our podcast we can't even post a picture of dog shit in our own chat but that's the <laughs> that's the difference between our products well i mean it's not it's clearly not from a dog so I whatever mean, that's yeah we can't I mean, even it's not dog shit it's the size of dog shit what animal shits the size of a dog i j- and and listen with the exception of domesticated dogs who will shit anywhere, wild animals don't tend to just shit in the in the open where everybody can see them. It's it puts them in a point of vulnerability. Like and cats are very good about cleaning up after themselves. So I just don't know who's shitting like in the middle of the yard. It's a very get a camera. Get one of those wildlife night vision cameras. Yeah, I need to. You I have to. a backyard camera, but it didn't catch it. So I'm gonna like a security camera didn't catch it. So I'm gonna uh I'm going to do that. I'm going to get some sort of a nature camera because somebody is was, somebody's dropping turds in my yard. Is there, <laughs> is there an app that's like the bird call one, but for, for turds? <laughs> Tur- like a turd call app? Like you take a photo of it and tells you what it is? Yeah. It's a, it, <laughs> like what turd in it? It's a great idea. A- Andrew, <laughs> I got oh. your text and I'm, I'm very into your idea. I'm sorry if I didn't seem like I was. No, that's fine. That's fine. I was just speaking of your yard. I had this thought yesterday. Because, uh, you know, you're talking about all the cars you're going to find when you dig. If you dig far enough, all the different vehicles. Are oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a thought. I think you guys should do this. It makes me really happy. You should get a metal detector. You and Gavin should get a metal detector and just go in your backyard. And whatever it pings, just dig until you find whatever it is. Ugh. See if there is a vehicle. I want to find a car. I'm all I want to find a hood. Um, yeah. When we're renting the jackhammer, can we rent a metal detector, too? <laughs> That's not something that has to be done right now, Eric. We can look into that in a month. Just a future, future thing down the yeah, road. Whenever, whenever also, things calm metal down. Metal detector is relatively cheap. Like I, I don't even. Where do you metal where do you rent how, a metal how, detector? Or yeah, just buy, just buy one. How just deep do they go? Amazon. I don't know. I think there's probably you could get a, a shitty one that doesn't go super far and like an insane one. I imagine. Yeah, I think there's probably, there's probably a quality. range. Oh man, speaking of difference in quality, let me ask you guys a question. Um, I was. I was uh, I was shopping today. I need to buy some weed killer. 
And I was, at, I, I typically buy that at Lowe's, but I was at Walmart looking for cards. And so I just thought I'd see how much I'd check the weed killer there. And then I thought, I wonder if it's cheaper or more expensive here or at Lowe's. And uh, so I took a picture of it and then I went to Lowe's and it turns out Walmart, uh, Weed killers two dollars cheaper than the exact same fucking thing at Lowe's. I guess you're paying a two dollar premium to get to shop at Lowe's and not have to shop at Walmart. But uh, it, when I was in there, I looked and I realized that for the same like one gallon container of weed killer, the prices varied from nine dollars to twenty nine dollars. Can there be that much of a quality difference between <laughs> poison? Like, is it, is it like the cheaper a liquor is, is the more poisonous it is? Like, can, like, is cheap poison really worse than expensive poison? It seems like if you're going to cut costs on buying stuff, I bought the cheapest fucking poison they had. So uh, should we do it, a comparison between, like, top shelf poison and the cheap poison and I see think, like, if it kills three times as much? Yeah, like, is it, like... How do you like? How do you? It just seems ludicrous to me. I can't imagine that the nine dollar po poison is any worse than the twenty nine dollar poison. <laughs> Jeff, you might become a poison guy because this is exactly how Fifty Cent got into vitamin water. That he noticed that there was an expensive like five dollar brand and then like a Fifty Cent brand. This is your same realization with poison. I think you need to make a premium poison product and just dominate the marketplace. Premium poison product. Yeah, a yeah. Five like star poison for your yard. It's like how the guy made Grey Goose Vodka successful, like he launched it in the 70s and nobody bought it, so he doubled the price and suddenly everybody wanted it. I'm going to yeah. sell a $75 weed killer poison <laughs> that's just round up in a different container, but it's bespoke because I'll put some like elderflower in it or something. Is there a maximum amount of poison that can be like, what's the parts per million of poison that's at the upper limit of off the shelf poison? We should look into that. Oh, that's a great, I feel like that's a branding thing of like, oh, it's too poisonous to have on shelves type thing. Yeah, like it's at the <laughs> limit. Yeah. yeah. It's the, 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 it. the most the most concentrated poison we are legally allowed to sell you. <laughs> there has to be because they do that with energy drinks, right? Like there's a certain max amount of caffeine. There should be a certain max amount of poison in your poison products. Yeah. There has yeah. to be a line. There has to be a line. Like where do you get cyanide from? Like who sells that? <laughs> who sell, let me let's Google that. Who sells cyanide? Oh my god! I don't know. Where get can I buy list, buddy? cyanide? Are you on a work computer or like uh, a home computer? I'm gonna hey, I'm on my home computer. I'm gonna say here, here's what I'm gonna say. Where can I buy cyanide if uh, my name is Eric Badur? <laughs> Eric, it's it's a, a great podcast to get a VPN sponsor. Just say yeah, no kidding. God, use ExpressVPN. <laughs> And make sure that you look up your poisons. <laughs> it uh, it's not, it's not telling me. <laughs> Apparently, it's not yeah, it's just a lot of stuff that is like, what is the most deadly poison on the planet? And uh, a lot of lists, and it seems like you only really need one. Um, I can't imagine it's changing very much between research. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, we should probably wrap up, but uh, Gavin, I said I wanted to say something about British people today. I've had yeah. a, I've had a, an observation, and I wanted to. I, I I spent a lot of my time. I spent a lot of our friendship making fun of you and your country. Yeah, uh, good naturedly because I love you dearly, and I love going to England, <laughs> and I love I love the people. Uh, I really do. Uh, I can't. I, I I not there on the food yet, but I love the people. Um, but I was watching. You know, I I told you guys before about that show, The Traitors. Uh, yeah, it was on yes. Peacock. Well, there was a, a Australian and a UK version, and I watched all of the Australian version way better than the US version, by the way. Watching the UK version now, which is way better than the Australian version, it's definitely the best version of the show. What I want to say, I want to congratulate British people on being in touch with their emotions. After watching the US and the Australian show, where people are just reacted very differently, on the British show, every person on that show cries almost every episode it's in, like people are really in touch with their feelings and, and they're not scared to like express it as a matter of fact early on there was one dude who was kind of acting like a dick and somebody was crying and he was like yelling at them to stop crying that they're being fake and that this is a game and there's no reason to cry literally the next episode that dude was broken down and wailing <laughs> and sobbing everybody on that show has 
has shown very vocally their emotions. So I just want to say congratulations on, on British people for being uh, comfortable enough in their own skin uh, to cry very publicly. Right? That's cool. The Australians and the U.S. people weren't doing it. I feel like every time you made me cry, I just ran and hit away so you couldn't see. <laughs> well, these people are doing it. <laughs> Shut up. They made you cry. No, you never they made, made you fucking cry. Maybe, maybe tears of joy. <laughs> Oh, hey, by the way. Actually, you did. I teared up a little bit once because of you. <laughs> did you really? Yeah, I, it was the day I got my green card and you were so happy for me that I teared up while we were hugging. Oh, my God. It was the best day of my life. Are you kidding? <laughs> Getting to find out really that nice. my best friend in the world wasn't going to go away again. You know how much it's like you always talked about how much it sucked to go back to England for uh, nine months until you could come back and spend another summer. With us. It was <laughs> yeah. just it was just as sucky for us. I was so we were so sad without you. I'm glad I'm here for good. I am, too. Or until I leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey uh nah never mind i don't want to make you cry in the podcast what? i think I, I wonder i i had i could almost make gavin cry in the podcast right now yeah but i don't know what, in what way like happy cry happy yeah cry? i think so sad cry okay i mean it sounds like you're conspiring against me so I'm not. I've been I've been operating uh, under an assumption uh, for a while, and I've never verbalized it to you. Uh, I don't think. But uh, Gavin, would you be interested in being my best man? Holy! Would I have to do a speech? If you want to, but I wouldn't make you. Oh my god! I've never been a best man. It's always it's always I've always considered it to be my worst nightmare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I've always That's, wanted to be for someone. Why do you think I'm asking you? What about Gus? He's gonna. He he. he uh, he's a very good friend, and he's gonna be in my wedding party. But um, and 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 I love him dearly. But I, I okay. It would mean the world to me if if you would would do it. I'll definitely do it. When is it? When are we doing this? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna announce the date. Give details <laughs> off the podcast. I don't mean the date. I mean ballpark. Do I have like a month? Do I have a year? What? Oh, no, what do you? We're what getting you married you in the fall. Do? <laughs> it's this. Ah! Like, what do you think? What? You've got five months, uh, probably. To do what? I'm what swag. are you worried about? I'm swag. What are you worried about? It's scary. Dude, well, what's scary it's, about it's, it? Because I, I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> Here's what you, all you, you have to it? do. Just wear the nice clothes. Yeah. Fucking have chat GPT <laughs> write a speech. <laughs> That's fine. I will say, though, if I had to, if I had to best man for anyone, I, it would be the easiest to do it for you. I have yeah. so much nice shit to say about you. Oh. Well, you don't even have to do any of that. You just have to be there. I don't care if you say anything. I don't care if you give a speech or not. I, I had to do that once for my cousin. Uh, and I, I was very honored and proud uh, and excited to do it. But I, was, I, I understand the stress behind having to write a speech that encapsulates how much you love and care about somebody in that way and then recite it in front of 100 people. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask you to do it if you weren't comfortable with it. But, I've uh, never been more honored in my life. Oh, thanks, buddy. It's uh, it, it it's something that I've been wanting to ask you for a long time, and I did not plan on doing it uh, on camera. <laughs> I can't all. believe you did was, it on the podcast. I was gonna buy you a present and take you out to dinner and ask you, oh, but shit. then you we got into that whole dis that discussion about crying and heartfelt, and I thought, what <laughs> what better time? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do my best to hold it together. I think I can do this. Yeah, you're gonna be great. You're gonna be <sighs> awesome. It's gonna be a relief. It's gonna be a relief. Why, time. why am I sweating so much? I don't know. <laughs> I don't I'm understand. Just, I'm just really hot now. <laughs> well, you didn't make his, his, he didn't cry from his eyes, but he's crying from his head in a sense. Yeah, his, my his elbows crying. and his underarms. There's, he's crying all over the place. The back of my neck is weeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That doesn't have to be content, too. If, if, you don't, if you're not comfortable, we can cut this part of the episode out or anything. Oh, I, I wasn't think it was doing awesome. it for... Okay, I wasn't trying to do it for like four content. It just the, the it just seemed like a perfect moment uh, to dovetail that conversation. <laughs> and since we never see each other in person, I really don't have many <laughs> options. <laughs> 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 oh god! Oh man! <sighs> oh, uh, one last update. Uh, I just want to just keep you guys informed. <laughs> I went to the mall last week. Uh, it's still going strong. Looking good. good. Could, uh, can you pick up some job application forms for various places? <laughs> I should have. I should have seen if they were hiring. <laughs> oh, man, that would be a dream come true. I always wanted to work at a mall so bad when I was younger. I also really, 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 I applied to work at a grocery store 
uh, that all my everybody in my high school worked at like six times, and they just wouldn't fucking hire me. And to the for the since. So I was 15, and the grocery store wouldn't hire me. I wanted to work at a great. Nothing, nothing worse than the, the, nothing to make you want something more than not being able to do it. I think it would be so cool to front shelves. I loved it. Yeah, you had a, you had so many stories from it. Yeah, and I feel like I've always, I feel like I've always want, I had like the creative mind. Like I've always liked making content and filming stuff. I still enjoyed that kind of work. It was like therapy. Mm-hmm. It was therapeutic in a way. It was. It was. Yeah. It's nice to have a job where you can also like think about shit at the same time. Yeah, highly recommend I, it. I may. I maintain that working. I mean, it's impossible now unless you were in an incredibly niche market. But the video store that I worked at for like the year that I worked there was to this day the best job I've ever had. I still think about it uh, fairly regularly. How much fun that was. How how silly it seemed to be getting paid for doing what I was doing, which was essentially making jokes with my friends and drinking under the table and uh trading movies for free pizzas and uh and watching porn (laughs) (laughs) you traded movies for pizza yeah there was a pizza shop in the same uh there was a pizza shop that was in the same like strip mall we were in it's very close yeah so the employee well this was new jersey so the employees of the pizza shop would come over and we'd let them rent all the free movies if we could call them and order a pizza whenever we wanted. And then we'd just walk over and get it or they'd come over and get some movies and drop one off. And so we, we worked in trade. We did that with a little... There was a, there was a sub shop too that we did that a few times with, but it wasn't the same vibe. Like they had a different management that was a little mm. more on top of stuff. And then there was, a, there was a, a tanning salon. I think I've mentioned this in the past. It was Sebastian box tanning salon the guy from uh warrant i believe is the band he was in and they weren't none of us wanted tans so we never like they we actually had somebody come over and talk about trade with us and we we're like all right we're good i wonder if we could do <laughs> trades in our current industry like is there a, a service that we want like if you wanted plumbing done could we the three of us go to a plumber and just have a conversation in front of him like trading content for his service discord nitro <laughs> Can we, can we stand at the executives of Discord and give him a five minute podcast? I bet that happens. Like, I'm sure there's a dude who's an electrician whose buddy is a plumber and they're like, I'll do all your electric work. You do all my plumbing work. We just, you know, trade back and forth. Or maybe somebody who's a, like an electrician who's got a buddy who's a mechanic or who knows. <laughs> Eric wants us to wrap up. Eric, do you think you'll be back on form next week? Mm, give me maybe one more week after that and then we'll see so okay. you think we're week to week if we're doing an injury designation like a sport you'd be week to week right now oh Double. definitely week to week right now yeah, week absolutely. to week okay if we can make if we can <laughs> compare your mental health to andrew's ankles what percentage are we at Oof. i want to say somewhere between 40 and 60 but not put it exactly at 50 okay it's pretty bad maybe you should that's have a week why off. and that's why i'm week to week just go I, just like take the week <laughs> off Okay. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of, why don't wait? Wait, why are you saying speaking of end? Spe- I'm gonna end it right here. Speaking of week to week, uh, one of the things I've been doing with the Sloppy Joes uh, videos I've been recording before <laughs> before they went down is I've started de- handling all the falls like NBA accidents and then trying to evaluate like upper that's a, that's an upper ankle sprain that's two to three weeks and we're gonna do more imaging and trying to like look at everything through the lens of a sports injury. It's a lot of fun. Like that guy will be on the bench for at least six weeks. <laughs> like that's. Mm-hmm. That's that, that, that's an ACL. That's a, he's out for a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, give the give take three responsibilities that you have and distribute them amongst us, and then take I, a week off. It's it's yeah, not give them all the this, Nick. It's not this show in. Particular. No, I'm talking anything. Like, give me give me something that you do. You want something that I do? <laughs> give him a meeting. Give him a meeting. That's, I'm not going to give you a meeting. Oh. That's, <laughs> I'm late for a meeting right now. Oh, shit. We should probably end it then. You yeah, no shit! That? Hey, thanks for listening to another episode of <laughs> Face. I particularly enjoyed this one. I thought it was really heartfelt. I thought it was pretty funny, pretty witty, pretty clever. Very dumb. Hopefully you agreed and you'll tell a friend about it. Also, this is a prime time to be checking out Rooster Teeth and our YouTube channel. Not only is it Rooster Teeth's 20th anniversary, we've got lots of like really fun, special surprises uh, that we've pulled out from the last 20 years uh to to throw at you but we've also been making a ton of additional uh supplemental face content we've got does it do's coming out every week we've got regulation animations we just had sausage talk 
episode two come out. We've got Gavin's best of coming out right now. We've got so much stuff coming out. I can't even tell you what's coming out next week. Uh, but I, I definitely would like you to check out some of this extra content that we've created uh, because we're pumping it out like, uh, I don't know, like a, like a new mom pumps out breast milk. We'll see you next week. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Hey guys, Major League fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of Face. Who forgot the intro? Has the Vancouver child kicker struck again? Jeff checks Facebook for the first time in a decade. It's Jeff Ramsey, XFL hero. Eric brings up wrestling. It's time for the erotic 80s. Jeff can take good photos. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of Face. <laughs> <laughs>